Good morning. I am uh, pleased to share with you uh, the financials for Q2 uh, of fiscal year 2017. Uh, we've delivered a very strong set of numbers this quarter. Uh, at a consolidated revenue level, uh, we have delivered a 20% growth in revenues from uh, 819 crores last fiscal to 950. 93 crores this fiscal. Uh, when I break it up into Biocon alone sales, this has also grown 17% from 533 uh, crores last fiscal to 622 crores um, this fiscal. Uh, our research services business represented by Sinjin grew 14% from 250 to 286 crores this fiscal. Um, our performance was bolstered by strong delivery from our small molecules uh, business which grew 15% with a very good product mix uh, realizing revenues of 200, 389 crores. Biologic sales continue to deliver robustly, 96 crores this uh, quarter uh, at a 26% uh, growth rate. Branded formulations uh, delivered 15% growth rate and uh, revenue numbers of 137 crores. Um, we also booked uh, 32 crores of licensing income pertaining to many of our biosimilar programs that we licensed in several emerging markets. Uh, total R&D spends were uh, 113 crores of which uh, 65 crores is reported in the PNL and 48 crores has been capitalized um, on account of both trastuzumab and glargine development related uh, to uh, the uh, developed markets. Uh, I must remind you that uh, exceptional income uh, was 2,203 crores last fiscal on account of Sinjin IPO. So, you know, when you exclude this, uh, we have delivered very, very strong EBITDA margins as well as uh, 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 profit. Uh, EBITDA margins were at 28%, uh, net profit margin was at 15% and uh, EBITDA was 277 crores and net profit was at 147 crores. So this sort of sums up uh, the, the snapshot of all the financial numbers that uh, are important for me to share uh, with all of you. Thank you. Uh, I would also now move on uh, to milestones this uh, quarter. I think the most significant milestone this quarter was the tentative nod that we received for our Rosuva statin calcium tablets which heralds our foray into the US generics market. Uh, following this was also a very important acceptance by EMA for review of our trastuzumab biosimilar dossier, which again was a very proud event for us because this was the first biosimilar trastuzumab dossier to be accepted for review by EMA. As you know, we are very betting very big on this molecule, so it's a very important event for us. Uh, another very important event was the launch of our biosimilar insulin glargine in Japan by our partners uh, Fujifilm Pharma. Uh, they have been, uh, they have actually shared with us the very positive feedback that they've received both from doctors and patients, which augurs well for garnering good ma market share in the Japanese market. And of course, the Japanese approval has actually opened many new markets for us, both in terms of market entry and licensing opportunities. Um, so I think uh, overall, I think we are well positioned uh, to deliver good growth across all businesses, all verticals. And, uh, you know, I think the investments we have made in, in uh, making all these uh, uh, investments in both creating a scale in our manufacturing capabilities, uh, such as in Malaysia, as well as the very large investments we've made in developing our biosimilar pipeline is beginning to pay the dividends that we had promised. Thank you.